Hi all, this is Neelam and welcome back to my channel Answer by Neelam Sachan and uh, as discussed earlier, we are going to explore the art forms we found at the Noida Heart Cultural Fest that is the Saral Ajivika, Saras Ajivika Mela uh, that I explored last week. So I am going to explore more information about all those art forms individually from now on and uh, the first one in the series is the wrought iron craft from the Bastha region or say the law shilp. Law means the iron and shilp means the craft. So that is the wrought iron craft from the Bastha region and you can easily google uh, with the name of law shilp from Bastha or uh, iron craft from Bastha and you will get enormous information. I am going to include a little bit from that. Let's have a look at that first. Go on the Google and uh, type here as in Bastar and it takes you straight to this beautiful image of the waterfall and you get the Google map location here. Let me zoom it out a little bit for you guys. And so this, this red spot is the region. This is the Chhattisgarh state of India. So this is more on the southwest side and uh, Bastar is there at the border of Urissa and Chhattisgarh. This is the reason sometimes people say that it is from the Urissa also, the Orissa state. Uh, they also practice because this is the bordering area. So they uh, practice all these uh, art and craft like the Dokra bell metal art or this wrought iron. It is practiced almost in both the areas. So, okay. The <laughs> Please excuse me for the light. So the, uh, let us zoom in now. So this area is mostly this district, I think. This district is the Jigdalpur, where you can find this little place is the Bastar. And as far as the information goes, this is the Bastar is a district in the state of Chhattisgarh in central India. It is counted in central India and the northwest by Narayanpur district on the north by Kondagaon district. Okay, this name, the Kondagaon district, we saw on the east by the Nabrangpur and Koraput districts of Odisha state. On the south and southwest by the Dantewada and Sukma. Rest, it can take you to the Google and all that and uh, have a look at the images. Uh, the images are beautiful, obviously. So this is about the geographical location of the Bastar area. And uh, as far as the information goes, the iron ore is available there. So this whole process started with the ironsmith community. And uh, they used to make the iron tools, that is the hammer, the uh, spades and all that. So whatever scrape was left after making those tools, the farming or the crafting or any other tool, whatever was left, the scrape, they started developing some art pieces. So those art pieces came in so beautiful. So it is like the uh, Ironsmith community's artwork. So they projected, okay, obviously they did not go to any art school or anything. So what they made was something that is visible to them all around them. So it could be the animals that were around them, it could be the life or the people that were around them. So here I have some examples. This is a dog, easily available. So this is the interpretation of the dog that they, made, that they had. And this is the uh, man holding a dog's leg. So uh, this is something that actually you can make through your observations of the people around you. So now this has taken, this art form has taken a lot of good progress and has made a lot of good progress and now this art craft uh, art form is actually demanded highly and uh, the export is also being done and uh, the community is also taking up this art form. The artisans are taking up this and nobody is giving up and as we get more aware of it things go in a better direction so this is something about the art now let's understand the process for this i am going to take you to a few photographs this is the website which is called the resource and it says it's not secure but still i'm going to share this link with you in the description and if you like you can go over and 
read about more from this. So here are a few. Uh, you can see the index, introduction, history, place, people, process, and everything. So you can see a lot of things, almost all the information from this website. So here are a few pictures where the, are, the people are making that. So as said, this is mainly done by the Iron Smith community. So they, they used to make all this uh, tools and all for the daily uses. So they used to heat the iron and this is the heating system that they had where you push in the air through those machines and you burn the coal to get the iron heated, melted and then you can easily mold it. So these are some of the pictures from that region and this is the paint or the originally the oil was being applied and then later the paint were, paints were being applied so to make it look more cleaner and uh, finished product. So this is person doing it. So here are a few pictures where they are doing it in the collaboration and the teamwork is being done. So here uh, you can easily see how they, they heat, then they beat it and then they mold it as per the desired shapes. All the images are there and uh, see now you can relate actually to this beautiful animal here. So this is how it was made. Then the, each part is separately pulled. The, this is why they are tapered at the end. So this is something about the pictures of the community. Now this is like taking shape. So this is uh, the whole process and uh, with reference to the images. And now first, let us understand what these people have to say. Uh, I went on to the fair and asked them a few questions. This person that I met, he was very shy and uh, he got so conscious in front of the camera. So I had to be a little on the, a little bit on the lighter note. So let's hear it from them. And uh, I'll translate that. आपका नाम क्या है इसको भूल जाओ आपका नाम और मैडम का अब कहां से हैं आप लोग छत्तीसगढ़ ओके और अब ये आर्ट फॉर्म जो है ये क्या है लोहा शिल्प ओके ठीक है बस्तर बस्तर एमपी में छत्तीसगढ़ में सॉरी मैं कंफ्यूज हो जाती हूँ ये कब से है ये आर्ट कब से है कितनी पीढ़ी से चल रहा होगा ओके okay. आप कह रहे हो तीन चार सौ साल से भी पहले का है या ओके okay. कैसे करते हो बताइए होता है में से गरम करके ही बनाते हैं गरम करके लोहा गरम करके पीट के उसको उस टाइम करते हैं और इसके ऊपर क्या पेंट है पहले तो लोग ब्लैक बोर्ड के नीचे जंग नहीं खाए इसके लिए तो अभी क्यों अभी क्यों बंद कर दिया अभी लोग कहते हैं कि पेंट करके दो ऐसा है तो उसकी ओरिजिनलिटी तो फिर खत्म हो गई ना ओके 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 अच्छा ये बताइए अब आपके जो बच्चे हैं या उनके आगे वाली जनरेशन जो है वो आप लोगों से सीखते हैं ये चीजें है। तो आपके इलाके में कितने लोग करते होंगे ये वाला काम दो तीन सौ लोग हैं पहले कम था अभी ज्यादा हो रहा है या फिर ऐसा कुछ बढ़ रहा है 
अच्छा तो ये ये जो मेला वेला है यहाँ पे आके कोई फायदा होता है यहाँ पे एक्चुअली कुछ भी नहीं था एंड मैं बहुत खुश हूँ पर्सनली यहाँ पे चीजें कुछ आ गई हैं एक्चुअली बहुत अच्छा है और मैं शायद उधर से एक दो पीस लूंगी और कुछ है जो आप बच्चों के लिए बोलना चाहोगे उनको सीखना चाहिए नहीं सीखना चाहिए या चलो ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच ओके सो वट ही टोल्ड मी बेसिकली दिस आयरन क्राफ्ट इज वेरी 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 ओल्ड इन फैक्ट इवन ही डज नो द एग्जैक्ट डेट्स when it all started he said because they were getting the, all the iron and all that there so they started and now the generations are also taking it up and the things are moving in the positive direction because their future uh, generations are also taking up this art form and they are also bringing it forth for us to understand so it, they were so lovely <laughs> they were so lovely and uh, to talk with and uh, this was also my first time going out with my camera and i am um, also not very good with the public especially talking with them in front of the camera so please excuse me if i made any mistakes but uh i think i did okay and i would be learning um in the coming days and i would be more confident and fluent and maybe prepared well with my questions i was not sure initially if i'm going to interview or not how am i going to do it or uh, how the people are going to respond why am i interview, interviewing them or anything but uh, they cooperated so well so it was like really nice and uh, so this was about from their perspective and uh, what he told me was the most of the demands that are coming is from the temples also because there are the uh, tea light or the candle holders there the diyas and all that the animals they have the candle holder at the back and these products they were being sold mostly to by uh, to the temples and the demands were mostly made by the people who are involved in such that so candle stands are something that are being sold more plus the wall pieces that's what he told me uh rest i found that uh, all these products online as well so online is a little expensive but you get it at the comfort of your home so if you don't want to go out that's up to you but if you go out meet an artisan talk to them and uh, that would be better and buy something from them as i say uh, for 20 commercial products buy at least one handicraft or do it yourself at home so i will be covering that in a short while now let's understand uh, this process through the video since i will be sharing this uh, link with all of you on um, in the description so i am not going to continue here the full video now here is that process that you can see let's have this is from in on youtube as well so this is the process where they are beating it up the iron and all i am going to skip it see it's a fast process not so long but uh, I personally cannot think myself doing it as of now. It involves a lot of labor, I must say, because heating everything to the appropriate temperatures. Plus, India is a hot country, and sitting in the hot, in the hot weather with the heat and doing all that work, it's really difficult. So, a big hats off, I'm a salute to all these people. Now, these, uh, I think, the is making a horse because there is a tail. so that 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 is getting shape and uh, that's one of the legs just like mine here and this is the final paint layer after cooling it down don't don't think it's hot so this is so beautiful so beautiful as a product and wow this is the horse and it said this is like the most popular thing so these are a lot more products so i i'm going to stop it here now uh i now you are what you are seeing on your screen are a few images of these products so here 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 all these products these are so beautiful
had this sample as I already said that I would be doing I am buying these as the samples and I created something like that because I also wanted to understand the process okay I can't do that but what else can go wrong because I was so confident that I would be able to do it so visually it's all right but not that fine minimalistic approach no mine is a little healthier as a <laughs> dog and the legs are also very 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 thick because uh, <clears throat> I put up the skeleton with the iron wires first and then I put the MCL white that is the sanitary putty that you use and then I covered this with the black but I was able to get the features and all these features the eye and everything this is like this is amazing and if I keep it at a distance it's not that easy unless you go into the details if this was the first piece maybe you wouldn't notice apart from the legs that are inconsistency that we have so you can easily create this now if you do not want to create with this wire and all that then putting on the putty and then coloring it I have another option you can easily sculpt the legs using the M uh, putty the air drying and uh, you can construct these you can get the finer legs with that and then you can join all the individual pieces all the body parts and then finish it well and then cover it up the only risk with this is I dropped this twice after drying up so there is a crack at the neck and there is a crack at the leg part if you drop this without the skeleton it's gonna break just like that if it had a skeleton there would only be a crack so that is one thing that I leave up to your decision what do you want to do with skeleton without skeleton is up to you but only thing I would say is just keep a little bit of or no twisting of the wire here at this area because this was supposed to be very thin and I didn't realize it when I made that so this was my first prototype and uh, this is how the prototyping works you have to do it a lot of times and to get more finished work so you keep learning and keep doing so and in case you want to involve small children you can do it with the paper as well roll the papers join it and then finish it with the paint you can still get a nice dog with the thin legs you can roll the newspapers and all that so that could be a best out of waste product or if you want to go with the much smaller children what you can do is simply ask them to draw just put up the sculpture or the art piece in front of them ask them to draw it leave it to their discreet how they draw it just ask them to draw it and share the information about this craft about the community about the locality and all that with them and uh, that's how you cover all the ages and uh, you can do something or the other now there is one thing that I realized yesterday to bring in more uh, creativity to your classes is if you want uh, your children or your students to construct something give them a picture a historic picture or a painting and ask them to sculpt or craft some item that is there in the painting that is from for let them think how they can make it instead of telling how to make it let them think alternatively if you want some 3d to be converted to 3d 2d which we mostly do so put them put something like this in front of them and ask them to draw paint according to their age level the finishing and the look would be different so this is how you can do something like that and uh, now this is what I won't be calling DIYs now this is DIY AH do it yourself at home with whatever you have available you don't have to go out and buy something creativity comes when you make something with what you have so the on the right iron wrought iron craft from the buster or law shell and the doable versions of that in case you liked it or uh, in case you didn't like something just let me know in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to the channel the next that we will be doing is the dokra metal art dokra or the bell art from the Chhattisgarh region as well so the sequence will be the same I will be showing you some doable versions of that and uh, the problems that I am facing or I faced and uh, how you can improve it so till then um, 
tell them see you in the next video subscribe to the channel share this with the, all your friends and family and uh, in case you have any students or who are preparing for their projects or portfolios and uh, nowadays okay just share it with them <laughs> this would also be their art integrated project that is being asked at the school levels and maybe at the college levels also this will help you guys so thank you so much for being here and giving me your time thank you and i'll see you in the next video